We are so grateful in our 30th anniversary, God gave us the new wing of the main campus. In 40th anniversary, God will give us Gomri Church site. Um, I will take the time to uh, welcome the Gomri Church congregations. Part of them will join the Gomri Campus English Worship. Well, we will have a short video about Gomri Mission Church history, as well as some of the sharing by the key leaders. Gomri Church is in 1873 用木材建成的会堂Hi, and welcome to Gormley Missionary Church. My name is Marilyn Ridzik. I've been attending the church for over 40 years. When I first started attending, Gormley Church had a very active youth program, women's ministries, and outreach committee. And the worship services were held Sunday mornings as well as Sunday evenings. The most memorable occasions for me were the times that we would have gospel groups come in to sing on Sunday evenings and also for the testimonies that people would give of how God had changed their lives. We've had excellent, excellent people serving on our board and people such as Dr. Bill Etzcorn, Ken Benson and Ron Warder who are very spiritually mature and um, a lot of wisdom and I really appreciate serving alongside with them and I would have to say I don't know where I'd be today without my involvement in the church and I'm so grateful. Ten years ago I was invited by Gormley Church to come and share with them about my Christian medical mission activity in Russia and Siberia. What I saw was a church that had a yearning and had a deep faithfulness share Jesus Christ, his good news, and his love. They were and continue putting that into practice through supporting missionaries around the world and locally. Moreover, they are purposeful in carrying out that missional mindset in their own daily lives through living out the great commandment, which is to love God and love neighbor, and in following the Great Commission, that is, in inviting others to repent of their sins and to commit to following Jesus Christ. This excited me very much that I saw a church was serious about deepening their faith in Jesus, in following Him, and in serving Him. It reminded me very much of the vibrancy of the early church that we read about in the book of Acts. I wanted very much to be a part of such a church, to follow them and to support them in what they were doing, and in turn to have spirit-led support for where God was calling me to serve Him. In the years that Linda, my wife, and I have been worshiping at Gormley Church, there have been a number of members who have come and served with me on short-term missions in Russia and Siberia. Gormley's mission is loving God, loving people, making disciples. Hello, my name is Linda Edscorn. I'm, I'm the wife of Dr. Edscorn, and we've been uh, attending Gormley uh, for the past uh, 10 years or so. Uh, the five things that I love about Gormley is, uh, firstly, we're a small congregation, where the sharing is uh, more personal and uh, uh, family-oriented. Number two, my faith uh, has grown tremendously through the uh, amazing teachings of the pastors uh, at Gormley. And thirdly, it's amazing to see how the different ministries are being covered in spite of uh, it being a small congregation. 
uh, the members uh, take um, have joy and uh, they're committed to their tasks at the church um, in the different ministries. And number four, since I love food and I love organizing, I volunteered myself to be a member of the kitchen committee where we prepare the dining room and serve food uh, coming from the different members of the church and clean up after, so I love doing that. Lastly, uh, it's a wonderful community and we are just very grateful to God for what He is doing in um, transforming lives at Gormley. Thank you.